Hi everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my pasture. I just wanted to do a little video. It's nice outside right now. The temperature is nice and cool for once in a long time. Um, we're supposed to get some rain tonight actually. And then for the next few days, I'm really, really looking forward to that. And uh, I think the grass is too. The grass isn't looking that great. So, yeah, hopefully hopefully the grass gets maybe a little bit greener, but either way, we're going to have to order some hay um, in October. I mean, we, we have some over there, and it's actually still good, but uh, we need to just get ready for winter. I don't know if this grass is going to come back or not. I mean, there's still some green, but it's it's getting kind of slim pickings, so... Um, anyway, in this video, uh, there was a while ago that um, I talked about the, the topic of polygamy, and I have my wife here, <laughs> and I wanted to talk to you about it because, um, you know, anytime a guy talks about polygamy, it's always like, well, of course you like it because you're the one that's benefiting from it. But we've actually talked about it quite a bit, me and my wife, and what, why don't you talk about what oh, we've boy. talked about? Well... <clears throat> The, we've talked about the joys that I would find in polygamy. Um, if it was on this earth, um, I, feel like, I feel like you would have a special friend, like a, a sister friend, um, someone that you could be really close to and you could share. It's like you could share in the responsibilities of family matters. Um, one of you could cook, one of you could go pick up the kids from school. Um, you could both talk about your husband and the problems you have with him. <laughs> not that, not, not that there is any. Yeah, but, <laughs> pet peeves, I guess, whatever. But um, also like discipline with kids. Yeah. Like it would, you'd have more support from other yeah, adults. More support. Um, it's like there's things that I don't, talents I don't have as a mother that another mother would have that would benefit our family. And and the thing is, is when it comes to relationships with your spouse, I think Jared said this before, uh, a real relationship isn't based on lust, it's love. And when you love somebody, it's not all about, pardon me, it's not all about sex and... Ro romance. It's not even, not even romance, just... It's just a love for one another. And when you have another person sharing in that love, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. There's no jealousy because it's, it's true love. It's love you both have and, and it, um, I know in the celestial kingdom that the time I would miss out with Jared would be evenly spaced because everything's perfect there. So, you know, once, once that family is celestialized, I would have all the time in the world with Jared and so would the sister wives and um well and i imagine time wouldn't really even be an issue because i think that in the celestial kingdom time is probably not the way it is here on earth like we have lots of references for that in the scriptures about god's time and our time and god having all time present before him so it that may not be really an issue before i mean we won't know till we get there but yeah. I, I don't personally think that it would be an issue and in a in a millennial world a world during the millennium you're gonna have better people so you won't have to like there's women I know that I would hate it if she were part of my family um, because they're manipulative or controlling or put you down or basically a, a, narcissist. a narcissist yeah, yeah. A toxic personality yeah. but there's other women who are empathic and loving and do their part and want to help you out and you both work together to build your home and build your family and build each other and build your husband and build your kids and they wouldn't and they wouldn't compete against you right. as like a another wife right. they would it, would, it yeah. would be opposite of a narcissist it would be a nurtured loving home and yeah where everyone's actually trying to help each other right. reach their full potential and yeah, yeah. and the the more the better <laughs> yeah 
Um, I'm not saying that, you know, I want to have 10 wives, but I'm not saying that I don't. It's whatever the Lord has in mind for us. And if there's women that we care for that need a husband whenever the time comes, um, we'd be happy to give them a home mm -hmm. and make them part of our family. Because like I've talked about in this channel, I don't, okay, just in general, women are way, 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 way better than men in general. And I think that that's a, a thing throughout all of eternity. You know, there is um, a ratio <clears throat> of righteous men to righteous women. It's just, I don't, I don't know how it works. Like, we're probably not going to know until after this life. But um, I think it's almost somehow, in a, in a way, designed that way. Because, you know, when you think about nature... Like, you see that rooster over there. For chickens, the the recommended ratio of roosters to hens is uh, one for every, what was it, like ten? Ten hens. And, um, you know, that's just how it is. And that rooster right there, that's our alpha male. And he does a really good job. He's doing it right now. He's getting that hen in line. <laughs> Telling her where to go. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and and the hen went to him for protection when one of the other roosters was after her just this morning. So she knows who to go to for, for protection. Yeah. Um, you see it in nature a lot, and you see it not just in the animal kingdom, but, um, well, in, in the, so you know, I guess what you call the celestial kingdom, when you look at the planets and the, and, um, the stars, um, we know that our star... Yeah, I know, I know. Don't worry, you just... Well, no, I guess you have to share Jack with these two, because these are heifers. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, but when you... Uh, from my... You know, because I'm, I'm a bit of a history buff, and to my knowledge, almost all cultures view the sun as a male, right? And then the earth as a female. Um, usually the moon... And, I don't know about the planets as females and um, I think rightly so because our star just by its nature it has the ability to support all these planets and not just the planets but all the moons and I think I looked it up one time but we have something like okay I'm not even I'm not even gonna say because I can't remember it at all but I know it's at least more than maybe 40 probably probably even more than 50 moons so all the moons all the planets that are in this system they all depend on the sun and the sun has all the gravity and all the you know thermal energy energy that it needs to support the entire um solar system and I, I think that you can also see it in abraham's family as well as uh, of course israel's family that you know, I, I think that that's a pattern for after this life that you're going to have um, in each family. You're going to have your one male that is kind of like the star of the system. And I don't mean star like, oh, he's so amazing. And I mean like like a star, like a sun. You'll have most likely your, your wives, <clears throat> multiple wives. Um, and it even talks about um, those wives having handmaids. Um which a lot of times they're referred to as concubines and they're kind of wives of a lesser status and I don't know what that's all about but I think that these stories and the way that these families were organized it probably isn't arbitrary and it's probably not just because of the the culture of the time I think it's a pattern for eternity and with a righteous man you're not gonna have to worry about him preferring one wife over the other he'll he would love you all equally and do his best to support each of you yeah. Each each wife, um, a righteous man would would never. Well, you know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a righteous. Someone that actually a man that has a heart. Yeah. That has the the love of Christ and empathy and charity in his heart. He's not gonna pit wives against each other. He's not gonna like. He's gonna try and treat everybody equally because he can feel for them and not he he'll want all of them to be perfectly happy as and much I, as possible. I would guess that would even bring a, a man to his full potential to uh, to be able to care for that many wives. 
um, just as mothers having more children would be more bringing a mother more fully to her potential having more kids you know so I think I think a, a husband a man could do amazing things having more wives yeah and it's like would you want to have more wives of course I would because I want to have as much family as possible you know and it wouldn't just be me that would be getting that family um, Jenica would too and then all the other wives because essentially they would all share in all those children so yeah. it's like everybody would would win um, a lot of people have the misconception that polygamy is all about sex and it's all about you know whatever but it, it's not if you think about it if you watch the show um, sister wives you you start to see the reality that it's not about carnality and it's not about lust because it's it, these are like families it's just multiplying your current family by whatever number and it takes work and it takes responsibility um whereas like on the worldly side we see people today that are going around just having sex with everybody you know and, and there's no responsibility there's no commitment that's like that's way worse than polygamy polygamy is where you take responsibility and you raise a family and you build it on principles and you build build it on righteousness um in this world in this particular state that we're in right now now the reality of it is poly polygamy would probably be kind of hard because we're still mixed in with the tares right there's the wheat and the tares and there are wheat and tares in the church and i know that the early saints that practiced polygamy i know that there were issues there because you had i mean everybody's imperfect but the tares or the telestial level people um and even the terrestrial level people they they are definitely even more imperfect than people that are living a celestial law and um you know i'm i'm grateful to those early saints because i myself i am a product of polygamy um my mom is from portugal my dad actually met her on his mission but my dad's side of the family they're all um like pioneer stock and i've done my family history and a lot of my family on his side has done family history and on multiple lines there's polygamy i i wouldn't exist or at least this body wouldn't exist if it wasn't for polygamy i know that it was a divine commandment and everyone gets upset at joseph smith for being secretive when he was doing it but it's like come on he's already asking people to do so much to believe in gold plates that they that they can't see to um pick up and move to another state you know away from their homes and their fan their you know extended family and then on top of that like oh by the way now we need to do polygamy i mean come on i think that he did it the best way that he possibly could but i know that it was inspired because i don't think that the church would be as large as it is right now if it wasn't for that um I think it really helped us grow in number and that's one of the purposes of it sorry i didn't have anything to say i just wanted to look oh okay <laughs> um i'm i'm excited for it i'm i'm excited to grow our family and have sister wives if that's how you want to call it i'm excited for the bond that i would create with them and excited for the extra children i grew up next door to my cousins so we always had our cousins over and that was so much fun and imagine how fun it would be for your kids to have a huge family and it wouldn't be just me to take care of all those kids there's be plenty of moms to help take care of all of them and and like I said you all have your different talents so you all have the things that you can work on and it would give you just more time to to develop and develop your talents and I just I like the idea and I think it would make of home happy and isn't there that scripture that says that uh, during the the times that women will be without their husbands and they'll be asking men to be called by their name but they'll supply their own clothing yeah. and yeah that's in I believe that's in Isaiah and in the footnote it says that it's gonna be because of war that they're gonna not have their husbands but again the reality of it is I, I really do believe that not as many men are gonna be moving into the millennium or or 
the celestial kingdom after this life as women, as as there's going to be women. And so, and that and that was the point that I was coming to. The early saints had to deal with Careful, all these a like beehive inside there. what? Yeah, I just noticed it. A beehive? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Well, that's not good. Nope. Uh, okay, so anyway, I'm going to move over this way. <laughs> um, so the early saints had to deal with doing polygamy um, in this like really imperfect world where we have all the telestial people here and, um, and the toxic personalities. But it's not going to be like that during the millennium. And we're actually really blessed because if we, if we do end up doing that in this life, um, in the millennium, and I, I think that we probably will. I don't, I don't know when or even if it will be reinstituted, but I, the general consensus, I feel, from everything that I've read online and people that I've heard, I, is I think everyone kind of expects that it will come back, and not that everybody's going to be asked or forced to do it, um, but I think that there is going to be a need for it, because we're about to go through a, a really sizable depopulation event. And that's the aspect that we don't really like to talk about so much in the church is, you know, the wicked are going to be burned. And the wicked, are, the wicked aren't just those outside the church. There's going to be lots of people outside the church that come, but there's also going to be people inside the church that don't make it because they're, they're terrors. You know, they, they're not real. They're fakes. And those people do exist. Um, so anyway, the point is that if we're asked to do it in the millennium we're going to have it way better than any other generation throughout time because the people that there are um that'll be part of these families they're going to be either terrestrial or celestial level people and you're not going to have the people that are competing against other wives you're not going to have the jealousy we're going to be in you know maybe even things like jealousy will be subdued because we know that satan's going to be bound and we're not going to be tempted. And with being uh, translated beings, um, and then of course after that resurrected beings, those those more natural man traits may not be even be within us um, at all. So I don't think that there really, there really will be jealousy, and we're going to view life in a completely different way. Oh, what is she doing? Daisy, what are you doing? Daisy, that's your future husband. There needs to be harmony in this pasture. Um, anyway, so that, that's kind of how I think of it. I think of it like planets and stars. I think of it like roosters and hens. And um, I really don't think that it'll be as bad as some people think. Now, in this life, uh, yeah, I think it would be bad. And I think it was bad for the early saints because of those problem wives that were toxic and even problem men that, um, you know, cause I'm sure that there are, uh, telestial and terrestrial level men that were in polygamy that made it horrible for their wives, but in the millennium and then obviously in the eternities, it's going to be much, 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 much different. And, um, I think it's going to really be a really good thing because I don't know about you, but I love human relationships. I love friends. I love family. Um, if we were able to, we would have a lot more kids. But Jenica has had to have uh, C-sections. So that with, with each one, um, that area where the scar is, it gets thinner and thinner. And um, it gets more and more risky. Plus, we had our most recent child um, that has autism. And having more kids increases the chance of having more uh, children with, with autism. And uh, for us, we think that it just may be too much for our family. But, you know, if I had it my way, I would have one of those huge families of like 12 kids, <laughs> you know. And hopefully in the millennium, we'll be able to have more family and then have more wives and have more family that way. And just have just an amazing lifestyle and lots of love and fun as a family and do lots of fun things together um anyway i think i think that's all do you have anything else to add 
Um, do you have anything that you could like say to ease concerns of um, women that are that yeah. dread it? Because there's a lot of people I that know. dread it. Um, uh, kind of like what I said before, um, the bond that you would have with your sister wife. Um, I I'm not close to my sister and um, don't have many close friends, so I I yearn for that kind of closeness with people and to be able to to have someone that I can see as a real best friend not only on a just a surface level but a deep emotional level and sister wives would be that exact thing that I'm looking for and um, and like I said before um, if you have a righteous husband who knows what he's doing and knows how to take care of women and knows his responsibilities as a man um, you won't feel left out you won't feel like your time is being taken away you won't feel like he's loved someone more than you it he would love you all the same and treat you all the same and he one of my concerns is always like well will he have a special love for me and of course he will. He'd have a special love for everybody and because we're all different. But in a celestial in a celestial mind, everything is perfect in a man and a woman. And you wouldn't you wouldn't be mistreated. You would be he would do all he can to make you happy and it's much more than what we feel in this life. All right. So there you have it. Me and wife, my wife have talked about it. We've we've talked about it for years, and um, you know it, it's just one of those things that um, it's alien to us because we don't live that in our current uh, Western society. But there are other countries in the world that do it, namely the Islamic countries and and I don't know, probably some African countries. Um, and it used to be a normal thing back in the day and um i think satan's had a hand in that because he doesn't want he doesn't want the world population to grow he he's trying to reduce our numbers and he doesn't want anything that resembles a celestial family and so um but yeah so there you have it I, me and my wife have talked about it so it's, it's not just me i just i don't want just a bunch of wives for myself <laughs> We've talked about it, and it's much more higher and dignified than that conversation. And um, I think we'll just leave it right there. Oh, wait. She has one yeah. more thing to say. And let me tell you, if you spend the time to really um, to let that grow, that nurture, that seed of um, having multiple wives in your family, um, you'll grow into into something more Christ-like um, because it is a higher law and it's what I have learned for myself is I've learned to love more I've learned to even be more patient and giving it's it's just it's taught me so many things over the process of learning to love the idea of having multiple wives in our family and I would, um, I don't want to be one of those people that challenge people like they do on the <laughs> in church, but just um, think about it and pray about it and um, ask for your heart to be softened because you, um, I think you, you would be really happy with the person you would become once you lear have learned and grown to not only accept something, but but to want something like that in your life. Yeah. And again, of course, <clears throat> we need to just like leave it at that because we're, we're not actually practicing polygamy nowadays. It's not authorized by the church. But just in case it is in the, in the future, um, you know, just think about it and just think about what we said and follow the prophet. Uh, he will not lead us astray. And um, we just need to follow um the guidelines of the church what are whatever they are at the time all right so we'll just leave it there um 
If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked it, hit the notification bell, leave your comments, um, leave your opinions, leave your research. If you have uh, sources for different ideas that you want to share, then I'd invite you to leave those um, sources so that we can do maybe future videos about uh, whatever it is you'd like to share. And I'll talk to you guys later.